God is preparing you for greater. As a fruit matures and prepares to ripen, so must we mature in the things of God. We must mature so we'll be ready for the right opportunities at the right time. God is preparing you for something amazing. So Joseph, we see in the story of his life, he's sold into slavery by his brothers. And then Potiphar's wife lies on him and accuses him of a crime he didn't commit. And so then he goes to prison to interpret the dreams for these two others that worked for Pharaoh. And he finds later, a few years later, that he has the opportunity to interpret the dreams of Pharaoh. But all this time, God has been preparing him for an epic opportunity. God is preparing preparing you for something greater than this moment. God is preparing you for something amazing. God is preparing you for your now moment. The preparation doesn't happen when you show up on the day of, of that time. It's already happening now. And so we want to press into what God is doing. And then even after you get that opportunity, God is still preparing. In Genesis, 41 verse 33 when joseph is before pharaoh he's interpreted the dreams and this is the instructions that he gives to pharaoh and now let pharaoh look for a discerning and wise man and put him in charge of the land of egypt joseph was that wise and discerning man joseph was the one that god had prepared for this opportunity all along he was 13 excuse me 17 when he received the dreams that he had about what God was gonna do in his life. And 13 years transpired before he had this opportunity at 30 to be before Pharaoh. All of this time, God was preparing him. All of this time, he was being molded, he was being ripened, he was maturing so he could be ready. And even so, he was still being matured in the things of God. So he was still being matured so that he could continue to walk in discernment and even be more wise, right? Because it doesn't stop there. I want to encourage you that God is preparing you for something greater, but continue to allow him to remove those things that hinder love. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, that you are preparing us for greater. You're preparing us for great opportunities. You're preparing us to walk higher in the things of you and not for ourselves, but that people will be transformed. People will be saved and set free. Not for us, but that the things of God will be advanced and even so we're taken care of as we're doing the works that you've asked us to do. So we thank you, God, that the provision is there. The resources are there. The knowledge is there because you're preparing us now and you're going to continue to prepare us for the mighty work because he who has begun a good work in us will hasten to complete it. And we thank you, God, that you're going to continue to do a great work in us. You're going to continue to perfect us until the day of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord. You're taking us higher. We ask you for more wisdom and discernment so we can be wise and discerning in this hour so we can be ready for those opportunities so we can continue to walk with you because we don't want to get that opportunity and turn away. We want to walk with you. We want to be with you, Lord. So help us to stay humble, remove any pride from us and help us to forgive those who have trespassed against us. Remove any snare, anything that's trying to hinder us from going higher in you because you are worth it. You're our exceedingly great reward. We love you, Lord, and we thank you for what you're doing in this hour. In Jesus' name, be blessed.